Hey all, good morning and welcome to another session on Tech Tablet Daily Dose with me Varun Rao guys. So in today's session, we would be looking at how to create an HTML view. All right. Now before we get into this, let us make a very clear understanding that this is this tutorial or this video is just for beginners and it's not for people who are already working as developers. This is just for understanding all those who are new and all those who want to step into uh, SAP UI5 I think if you can begin it this way then it would be good for you. you you can start with HTML then you can go into JavaScript and then when you have the real-time used view which is XML it would be good because you would be having good knowledge on various APIs and how to use them and this would keep you stronger and would keep you safer in understanding this module as such so now let us just begin understanding how to create an HTML view without wasting any further time. So now what I would be doing is I'm creating a new project here and it would be an SAP UI5 application project. Now this is with an expectation that you must have downloaded the required tools for SAP UI5 after you've installed Eclipse. Uh, so now I would be removing this check mark which is create an initial view and let me name it as HTML view underscore YouTube so I'm just naming this as HTML view underscore YouTube and I'm clicking on finish and now my project is done it would be creating a folder here in which I would be having all the required backend files and all the required libraries also so if you're able to see we have JavaScript libraries <clears throat> which is SAP UI core libraries so here we would be having all the required libraries which are used for development of a screen right so it will just take a minute to load in the meanwhile there, there are also other folders which are not required for us we are mainly concerned with these libraries which are you have so many libraries and we would be using SAP.M libraries in, in, in real time scenario and for, with these libraries you also have the elements and you also have the events attached so yeah it is pretty useful when you take a look at it and then you have this index.html file or index.html uh, and this is the place where you would be coding right now okay so to understand this you have the meta tags here to tell that it is you know it, 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 it is compatible with Internet Explorer of the Edge version okay which is the latest and then yeah you have the character set which is UTF-8 all right and you have the source which is resources you have the ID which is bootstrap you have your libraries by default it is selected sap.m and then you have the theme which is sap blue crystal this is also come up by default so now we want to create an application or we want to create a simple view uh, using this right so now what we will do is before we begin uh, let me just tell you that we would be just looking at how to code and uh, what is the coding pattern I would request you all to do your required search about how all these are coming up about the existence of APIs please do your required research and then it would be very easy for you to understand this it would be actually much easier for you to understand this so now what I would be doing is I would be creating a small application header all right so I'm just commenting the this application header part so that is the reason I put these two lines so now I would be taking a small variable all right it would be a variable I would name it as NAPO because it's an application header all right and now I would be beginning with new SAP UI okay comments which is the library and it would be the application header so now I have the required suggestion here and I don't need these right now with me so let me just delete them all right now I would be using the APO which is set display all right and I want to use this set display welcome 
it is a boolean value so you can just set it as true or false and i want to set it as true all right now i would also want to set the display uh, and it would be display log of this time okay and this is also a boolean value and this would be true as well all right and i would also like to set a username for this something by default okay and it would be set username this is what it is and i would like to set this to okay i would like to set this to john here and finally i would also like to add another value to this that is set logo and it would be a logo text that i would like to set this time and it would be uh, i would like to name this as mission ui5 all right so i'll just close this all right i'll just tell you how it works now i would also like to do this apo dot place at okay and i would be placing this in the content okay so this part is also done let me just close this i am now just clicking on save and now what we've got to do is right click on the index.html part and now we would click on run it would take you know 10 to 15 seconds to appear now i would be selecting on run and it would be run as web app preview so now this will take at least 30 to 40 seconds in my system yeah it's a bit it's a bit older system so yeah, it will take some time for me to come up with it but then in the meanwhile let us just understand what it is so i have created an application header here and sap ui commons dot application header which i'm using this is the parent node and this is an element which i would want to be displayed in the front end so application header is what i would be using in the front end and with it i would be having some properties of it and these properties are display welcome display log of username logo text and then now uh, there is another thing that you should always note whenever you're using or whenever you're working as a front-end developer you should always close whatever you start with the semicolon marks failing to which it would be an incomplete statement all right so apart from that uh, apart from the closing you also have to take care of which are boolean values and which are not now here two of them which we have used that is set display welcome true and display log of true they have been set to true and now they've been set to true because they are of boolean value all right and this is one thing that you have to understand and then finally i have set the username as john and i've also set the logo text as mission ui5 and then we would be right clicking or we would be you know yeah right clicking on this index.html file which is created when you create a project and after that you have this run as option and you can just click on that and you can set it run as web app preview and you should be having everything that you require so now we have the output here let us just wait it will take 5 to 10 seconds for it to appear properly okay now there is an error is what i suppose so in order to eliminate that error one thing which i have forgot here is the libraries which we are using is sap.m but here i am also using sap.ui.commons so now i'll have to add that here sap.ui.commons now let me save this and I would like to run this again. And uh, so now we have an application header. 
all right so guys this is an application header and this is my log off button okay it, it will not work because we have nothing associated with it and here it is the text welcome john and mission ui5 is the one which we have set uh, you know the text the logo text all right so now let us just create uh, another small element and let us understand how it works all right so in order to do that now what i would be doing is let me just create a small form all right i think form should be a suitable example so let me just create a form okay so now in order to create a form i would be using a variable all right and i would be naming it as form o okay and now i would be giving it a class name which is sap.ui.commons okay now this time let me use a layout sap.ui.layout dot form dot simple form right, guys you can just use or you can just learn about all these classes and apis uh, in the given sites for sap you have a lot of information for these and it will take a bit of time for you to understand and you know probably we are mature in this and it's never been easy for me as well and it's generally very common for all those people who come from a back background or people who come from other background other than front end they generally tend to suffer a bit uh, till they understand subject or they understand what is being done uh, perfectly and that would take some time at least all right so now i have created a form with an id and i am starting a content and now i would like to create an element in this so let me just copy the class all right it will not be an application header so let me just copy it till sap.ui.commons okay so it's commons and i would be using the label <clears throat> and if i have a label then i also have to enter a text and that text would be enter first name i think that should be app now i'll just give it a comma because i have something preceding this and it would be let me just copy this now and okay but this time it's not a label i would like a text field all right uh, a text field is up and see it's an error i have done it's capital f capital t and capital f all right so guys see you got to be very careful when you're doing this uh, front end is case sensitive and one mistake can cost you dearly uh let me just name this more okay and i'll also give this a width let me just add another property and the width would be uh i think it can be 15 yeah let me just put it as 15 okay 15 em all right done that another comma okay so now let me just copy both of these and we'll just give it a mul multiple you know repetitive yeah i'm done okay so now it will be the first name and it will be last name and let's keep this donald i think that should be good murray donald all right and now here let us talk of the age all right and let us keep this as 35 years okay so we are done with three elements all right and we will be given a comma now i would also like to add a small button in my form i have started a form inside my form i have three elements now after i am done with these three elements now i would like to you know come up with a small button and now let me just write 
a piece of code for button it would be sap.ui.commons dot button okay and now with this button my code begins all right it's not come up with a closing so yeah i've got to take care of the closing also right now this looks pretty perfect okay so now let me just write my properties i would just like to name it as a hello all right and a comma should do followed by I'll just we we'll just give it a very small event guys just to understand how it it functions so it will be function o event and now here let me just write a very small piece of code it would be alert this dot get text okay it's a very small very generic code okay we are done just take care of all these brackets guys whenever you happen to code because these brackets get pretty nasty and they get pretty confusing as you keep going further so yeah just a small piece of advice from me take care of these brackets and yeah they they, they would in turn take care of your code so uh, let me what it, the, the name is form o yeah the variable has been named as form o so it is form o here uh, form o dot let me use place at and i would like to place this in content2 so now i'm creating a content2 guys let us just see how this is done okay let me just do this and do this okay now before i use a content2 first let us place it in the content we have and let us see what the difference is okay i have saved it now let me just refresh this i hope there are no errors Okay, but there is no output also, which means that there could be some error, and I guess this is the error. It should be capital S and capital F. I have saved this again. Let me just come and refresh. All right, so now we have our values here, guys. So we have this. So now let me just click on hello. I also have a very small. you know message from the web box which says uh, the, the same text is being displayed all right so yeah we have this as well so this is very much from uh, this video guys uh, i think if you are able to practice this and and understand this much in the upcoming video we shall talk a bit more about html and we'll also see how to add some images uh into your project using html and then let us also look into understanding javascript let us also look into understanding xml post which we will also look into minute things of a controller let us also look at css so yeah as long as we are together and as long as we are subscribed to this channel and as long as we are learning something new we would be providing something new so yeah i hope this video has come to some use of you and all those who are planning to get into this industry welcome and all the very best thanks a lot for watching have a great day and a great career ahead thank you